Warning, this test contains materials that may be harmful or traumatizing to some audiences. It also may include visual effects that may harm the viewer. Please proceed with caution. Everybody heard that? Proceed with caution because that is the warning that it's probably gonna have some visual stimulation that might affect some people. But this is a fear assessment test. I'm not so good with taking tests. Trust me, I've taken a bunch of them in school, but we are gonna try to get the best grade that we can. If you guys cool day down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go. The fear assessment is a specialized test developed and implemented by government agencies to collect data on psychological torture techniques and their impact on individuals. It serves as an essential tool in understanding the effects of fear-based manipulation. This test uses your webcam. In order to follow the test to its full extent, you must follow these six rules. One, leave all doors in sight wide open. Two, make sure you are alone. Does having my ratty ass dog right here affect the test results or not? Because I really need to know. Because he's sleeping right behind me. He's just chilling. I need to know if that counts as being alone or not. Turn off all lights. That's not going to happen because if I turn it off, it's going to look like this. Uh, yeah, no. Follow all instructions. So basically, I'm not doing anything that the test is asking me. Five, stay focused on the test. That's going to be the hardest one. One through four, I could have done, but number five, that's impossible. Six, have a light on your face. So turn up all lights, but have a light on my face. Like, come on now. Captain Contradiction's over here. But let's start the test. And let's do this. Let's get spooky, everybody. So technically, I did do number four because number six, sorry. I was looking somewhere else. Level one, click on the faces. There's a face right there, even though it's ugly as shit. All right, so far, so good. It's exposing the time that I'm taking this test, 11.30 p.m. Like, why are you doing that to me, game? Where's the face? There it is. It kind of looks scrambled like some eggs. Where's the face? Okay. Oh, this is kind of creepy. Oh, man. Cheesing and everything. Sponsored by Colgate or some shit. Oh, what are you going to do? Are you going to grab me with those? You think you're going to scare me? Another one of those? I don't like that. That dude's just chilling over there. Dude, real hanging out. I'm kind of nervous now. Oh, crap. Okay, maybe I should slow down and really analyze, like, what I'm seeing. Let me process what I'm seeing. Because some dude was just on the wall. Bro, looking like a scarecrow. But I need to take my time. I think it's because I'm scared. The fear is really assessed right now. We will begin the next level in 10 seconds. All right, so now that we got some downtime, how's everybody doing today? doing all right it is in fact 11 31 p.m so i'm a little tired right now level two question and answer we'll talk about that later do you ever feel like you are being watched i mean i'm looking into the eyes of somebody who's potentially watching me right now and yes i'm talking to you i'm talking to you right there looking at me right now yeah you looking at me focus focus up because this is for you yes have you ever heard a voice call your name but no one was there honestly everybody i want to tell you all a little story real quick so i used to live in an apartment building and i used to live on the first floor and at the bottom of the first floor there was a vending machine all the way across the other side and to get to that vending machine from where i lived i had to go through like some kind of like dark hallway corridor thing actually it wasn't dark it had a light but sometimes the light it wouldn't turn on, and I remember I went through there one time, and I could have sworn, they didn't say my name, but I could have sworn someone was saying, hey, hey, just like that. And I looked up, because there were apartments that were above me, like balconies, and I looked up, and I was just looking around, nobody was on their balcony. And I stopped real quick, because I didn't want to go in that darkness of the hallway, and I was just like looking to see if they would call me again because maybe, I don't know, maybe they wanted to get my attention or something and nobody ever said anything again. And I know that somebody was saying, hey, I don't know, I just remember that so vividly and I remember getting the chills the entire time I went to go get my soda. But yes, I have heard a name and no one was there. Not my name though. Pay attention. All right, everybody, pay attention. Listen to the voices. Your ears are lying to you. What the heck? The people, your senses are deceiving. You are ill. And they will fix you. They will fix me. They are coming inside the room. Ew. Stay still. Okay. I'm just gonna chill like this. I'm just gonna chill. I'm just gonna do me. I'm just gonna do me and I'm gonna chill. What is that? Bro, why does everybody have a nice ass smile? If a figure was to appear from the corner of your room, you would scream, cry, pray, or run. I think I would scream. Definitely. I would definitely scream. 
Have you ever thought about being tortured? What? Have you ever thought about being tortured to death? What kind of sick fuck do you think I am? Of course, I haven't. What? Do you fear concept of an afterlife? I could talk about that for a while because I was recently in a conversation with one, even though I didn't ask for it. Somebody was kind of just talking to me about an afterlife. I think as I got older, I think the concept of an afterlife is more interesting to me than when I was younger. Because when I was younger, I remember I was like, yeah, I would love to live forever. That shit would be sweet. But as you get older, you realize that the main reason like we're on earth is to have these experiences in life with other people. And when they're gone, you know, you don't want to just like live life when so many people have been lost in your own life, if that makes sense. So I think I would love to see them again in an afterlife. And it does scare me that that might not be a possibility. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, no, there's no afterlife. When you die, you die. But I think the idea of it is at least interesting enough to give people a reason to you know live their best life and hopefully they'll see the people that they lost along the way i didn't mean to get that deep but i do fear the concept of an afterlife i do i actually do i hope that there is do you have loved ones of course i do who's gonna say no to that jellyfish do you care for animals rad boy do i care about you of course i do i love animals more than i love people sometimes level complete this is the easiest test ever the next level will begin in 10 seconds. Okay, so back to what I was saying. I had a great day today. I worked out, I had some fun, and I feel like that's one of the biggest energizers for me for recording videos is getting a good workout in. What do you want me to do? You want me to choose between the cute dog or the ugly baby? Of course I'm gonna choose the dog. What do you think of me? Oh shit, oh my God. We're not gonna talk about that. What happened in this video does not leave this video. I just chose whatever I thought, you know, was something that I, 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 you know? Press space if you can't handle the audio. If I can't handle the audio, who do you think I am, huh? Great. Why wouldn't I be able to handle the audio? I'm not pressing space. My mom didn't raise a little bitch. She raised a pussy, but not a little bitch. Great. Have you guys ever watched Dumb and Dumber? And Jim Carrey was like, you wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? This is that sound. <laughs> I'm just gonna cross my arms, man. I'm not worried about this. This does not affect me. I got big balls, all right? I have pink balls. I don't even know why I had to add the color in there. I'm so sorry about that. I was gonna say big pink balls, but then it, pink balls just came out of my mouth. Wait, I don't know if this is the intended purpose of the audio, but for some reason, it's making me wanna take a shit right now. Like, I wonder if it's, like, doing anything to my intestines. Because I feel like farting. I think I just farted just now as I was talking. to everybody that passed that with me level four complete that wasn't so bad it was kind of more annoying than anything it's like when a flies in your house it's just buzzing around and it's pissing you off but yeah anyway now that we're back in the intermission 
Working out really gives me energy to record. So that's one of my little secret weapons to having great recordings is I feel like I have to do some type of exercise. Whether it be like playing basketball. What? Whoa. Hey, Sue. with construct too all right that was cool i enjoyed that one it was cool because i don't know it made me want to take more test type games like this so it got me in the mood why does the lighting look better in the webcam than it does in the actual camera that doesn't make any sense i had a feeling that something was going to happen when it says that it uses your webcam and sometimes the loud noises get you more than anything else like it doesn't even matter it could have been a picture of a flashlight coming at me with a loud noise i still would have screamed okay everybody so i think i found one i thought that i played this a long time ago it's called stark county threat assessment test but i did something called like maple something bullshit so this is actually something that i've never played before and i'm very excited about that and i know there's always people in every comment section saying didn't he play this before show me show me where i played this before and then and then i'll say you're right but i never played this before i thought i did because they all kind of look similar but the one that i played was the maple county interactive something after an apparent spike in murders and disappearances we have put together this test to help prevent any more assaults is that right you will be given a handful of images with different people in them. Okay, good, because I'm a great judge of character. I do talk shit based on your appearance. You will rate them based on how threatening they seem to you. Your ratings will be given on a scale from 1 to 10. I got you. All right, let's do this. Good luck. I got your back like chiropractor, everybody. Nobody's getting assaulted, not on my watch. Show me the images. Show me the people. How threatening is this image? This little fuckboy? Zero? Nope, you can only go down to one. How threatening is this image? This freaking guy? The only thing threatening about this guy is him not doing my taxes right. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Big ass pair of beautiful baby blues. I mean, the only reason why this is threatening is because it looks like the person's wearing a mask. Other than that, this guy looks like a huge penis head, <laughs> literally. Like, he literally looked like he got a tip of a wiener on his head. I'll say six. I could take that man in a fight. No problem. Why are you looking at me like that? Hey. Why are you looking at me like that? It hung on that ugly ass face a little too long. How threatening is this image? Come on, man. Stop playing with me. What is this? Hey! What? You all saw that face, right? I'm not crazy. How threatening is this image? Okay, this one's a little spicy. I'm not gonna lie. That's a solid eight right there. That would make me hit high notes if I saw that in a wide open door in my house. How threatening is this image? What is this, Hitler? What does that say? I don't know what that says. But yeah, that guy looked like Hitler. And Hitler is a is a 10. Bro's a nuclear bomb of threatening images. Oh my fuck! I was just trying to see how threatening they are. This looks like a picture from the dark web. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I don't know why that weak-ass gunshot scared me. Got me stuttering and shit. <laughs> what is this? Okay, um... I'll say... I'll say a seven. It looks like it's in broad daylight. It's not that threatening. It's a little weird. It's kind of odd. But, you know, it's threatening enough for me to be like, Hello, 911? This guy again? Fuck this guy! What do you want? Threat? Yeah, you are a threat. And I already said you are. Threat, 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 threat. Yeah, you're not that scary, though. Honestly, like I said, you look like a huge penis head. Is it just me, or are you guys seeing the face, too? It is too late. For what? I thought I was the threat preventer. Right? I am already here. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Your time is up. What? Whoa! Oh! <laughs> what do I do? Oh. I don't get it. 
Am I supposed to do something to prevent this red block from going to the door? Because I'm not scared of red blocks. Like, come over here then. I got something for you when you get to the door. I promise you. I promise you. Her name is old Betsy. Like, this is a gun massager. But if you put this to the balls, whoo that's the end. That's the end of future generations for you. Really? That's not scary. Congratulations, you have completed the test. Your final score is 750, a game by Reese M. That knocking stuff, it gets you once in a lifetime type shit. Maybe twice or three times in the game if they do it really good. But after, you know, you've heard the knocking thing in video games before, it's highly unlikely, at least in my opinion, that they can get you again unless you're so invested in the game. But I kind of knew that they were going to try to do something to me. So when I heard the knocking, I was like, come on. But yeah, everybody, that is going to do it for two fear assessment tests. Hopefully you all enjoyed me playing through this. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude. <laughs>